Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers. As always, gonna be previewing the game today for the Niners and Ravens game that's happening at one o'clock in Baltimore. A lot of things are gonna be changing for this just because the, now the forecasted weather for in Baltimore is gonna be raining all day. So I expect both teams to be running the ball, playing as much defense as possible. Similar to the game between the Niners and Redskins that happened a couple of weeks ago where we ended up winning nine to zero and it was a very low scoring game. So I expect this game to be on that same side as well. I don't think it's gonna be 9-0, but I think it's going to be a very close, low-scoring game just because whoever scores pretty much essentially first is going to win the game because the other team's going to be ha having to play catch-up for the most part in the rain. So, yep, going to be talking about everything. Going to be talking about the injury report first, so let's get into it right now. 49ers, we have a couple of guys out for this game. D4, Matt Breida, he says he's questionable, but it looks like he's not going to be playing this game, so we're going to have to rely on the three backs of Raheem Moster, Tevin Coleman, and Jeff Wilson, which is a pretty good running back core. Hopefully, they have a good day running the ball because we're going to be needing quite a bit in this game in a running day a uh, couple of guys questionable I would say on this injury report Robbie Gold he should be playing in this game I don't know yet we'll see what happens then so Chase McLaughlin he's still probably going to be on this team but I don't know what's going to be the decision between them in a couple of weeks or two for the kicking position but yeah Robbie Gold he looks like he's ready to go against the Ravens another questionable guy Joe Staley I don't know if he's going to be playing for this game but he is listed as questionable so really two guys are out Matt Breida D4 and also Dante Pettis he apparently had a knee injury during practice so that's very unfortunate eh, what can you do right but he has not had the best season of his life in his second year as a 49er and a lot of guys have stepped up fortunately with Debo Samuel Kendrick Bourne if he doesn't drop any balls and Emmanuel Sanders who we got in a trade with the Denver Broncos goes in week whatever against the Carolina Panthers so we've had a lot of guys that stepped up in the wide receiving position so Pettis it is a little disappointing that he hasn't stepped up all year long he had some nice plays the one particularly against the Steelers but other than that nothing too crazy and yeah it is disappointing that he is out for this game so 49ers out of the way injury report three guys essentially going to be out for this game the Baltimore Ravens they don't have anybody listed as doubtful or out everybody else is just questionable so they looking like they're coming in healthy for the most part the only guy that's out is Matt Skula I think that's the center for the Ravens they did get somebody else so he is going to be the starting center so he's going to have his day hands full with DeForest Buckner Eric Armstead and those guys so we'll see what happens then but other than that the Ravens they're coming in healthy and that's good news for them so final thoughts for this game what to talk about before this game starts at one o'clock hmm well, 49ers, they definitely have to run the ball in the rain. I think that's the most important thing. Hopefully, they can tire up the Ravens' defense. And for us on the defensive side of the ball, don't let Lamar Jackson run around like crazy. Keep the lane closed. Make sure he doesn't scramble like crazy. And contain Mark Ingram as much as possible. Then I think it's going to be hopefully a good day, a muddy day. And at the end of the game, hopefully the Niners, they can do that little slide that they did against the Washington Redskins at the end of the game with Bosa. DeForest Buckner, Kwan Alexander, those guys, they had a lot of fun, I'm pretty sure, at the end of the game, and hopefully the Niners, we can come up with the victory. It's going to be a tough match, it's going to be a hard-fought matchup, you know, this is not going to be the best game of both teams' lives, just because it's going to be raining. Jimmy G, Lamar Jackson, I don't know if I expect him to be throwing the ball like crazy, I mean, Jimmy didn't really do anything in the passing game against the Redskins, because <laughs> it was raining all day, so, you know, I don't really expect a lot of passing game, I expect a lot of running game, and maybe some short passes, and what have you, so Jimmy, I hope you give it to your running backs, hopefully you give it to George Kittle as much as possible because that guy has hands no matter what. i never seen that guy in my life drop any balls or anything like that. Maybe once or twice, but other than that, catch the ball and run at the catch. So, you know, you, if you rely, rely on those guys, then I think it's going to be a great day on the opposite side of the ball. The Ravens defense is pretty underrated in my opinion. We don't really talk about them as one of the top defenses in the NFL. We would talk about the Niners. We would talk about the Patriots. We would even talk about the Chicago Bears minus Mitch Trubisky. But yeah, the Ravens, they have a pretty good defense and hopefully Jimmy G is ready for that defense and the offensive line led by Mike McGlinchey and them they can do a good job against the Baltimore Ravens defense and their secondary is pretty good pretty underrated as well they have a very good squad with Earl Thomas leading the way they have a lot of first rounders on the secondary side it's kind of weird because we have a lot of first rounders on the defensive side of the ball on the defensive line but they have a lot on their first on their secondary so Jimmy G got to be careful if he throws the ball very slippery day the receivers, they got to be careful for us, like Kendrick Bourne and Emmanuel Sanders and those guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I mean, I'm excited for this game. I hope you guys are as well. Oh, man, it's going to be a rainy day. I'm lucky that I'm not in that game right now and not playing that game at all because it's not a day to play at all. 
but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's just a hundred percent chance of rain. It might not even rain at all. You never know because the weather people like to mess with our brains and what have you. But I think for this game, it's gonna be a rainy, muddy day, and we'll see what happens then. So, yep, that's it, guys. San Francisco. I still have them winning this game. Uh, quite a small margin. It's gonna be very, very small. Maybe by two points or three points. But yeah, San Francisco going with the win. A lot of people are picking Baltimore to win this game just because of Lamar Jackson and company. But hopefully, our defense we can close the lanes down. Make sure. He throws the ball in the rain, and we can stop Mark Ingram as well in the running game. So that's it, guys. I'll see y'all after the game. I'm excited. Hope you guys are as well. I'll catch you up after, with hopefully with the W. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your day. I'll see y'all after the game.